Lesson number 17 is having the ability to switch your stance. Now, a lot of people and the students stick with one stance. So you've got your orthodox, which is your left leg in front, and you've got your southpaw, which is your right leg in front. So a lot of people will train and just keep one stance the whole time. And when you ask them to change stance, everything goes out the window, it feels really weird, they can't flow the combos together properly, their balance is off because they haven't trained both leads. Now, it's really important to have your techniques as good in one lead as they are in the other lead, which means both leads are just as good as each other. That way you can switch your leads and it offers your opponent a much more diverse range of attacks. For example, if you're both in the same lead, that's cool, but if you can change your lead, then you're now in mismatch lead where maybe your opponent's got his left leg in front and orthodox, and you've got your right leg in front in southpaw. Now you really got to understand the game because you're both fighting for the outside line. Because if one of you's on the inside, then you're in the power zone for your technique. So you front your front feet constantly want to be trying to fight for that outside line. That's just one thing of mismatch lead. So if you can change your lead easily, it makes you such a better fighter. So make sure you train everything in your normal lead, which is your most preferred lead, but also have the ability to switch stance as well. If you look at the world's best fighters, you don't even notice them switching leads because they're so good at it. They'll switch during a technique or use their footwork to change their stance or create angles. And it's just an amazing thing to be able to do. Don't be so reliant on having one good lead and one bad lead. Make sure you can fight competently with your left leg in front in orthodox and your right leg in front in southpaw and you'll be such a better fighter.